Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. Uh, if you're tuning in for any drone footage uh, or uh, technical stuff related to drones, that's not what today's video is. Uh, so you may want to check back uh, at another time. What this video is, is has to do with the uh, Envito Market 1200 Plus Handy Seamless Transitions Packs. This is one of those um, software packages that you can download to use with your Adobe Premiere Pro uh, editing software to help with uh, transitions between video clips. So you, have two, you have a clip A, clip B, and you want to do a nice seamless transition between the two. That's what this is. So just a quick sample of what that looks like. Um, this is just a couple of sample footages from their uh, promotional page. And it looks like it's um, pretty nice software suite. So I went ahead and I downloaded it and um, thought it would be pretty much click and play to drop in these transition packs and before you purchase it it's something you might want to consider um, what it does is at least the way that i'm using it is you're building dynamic links between your adobe premiere pro and your after effects software suite and what you want to be aware of is that the sound clip from the transition pack does not carry over when you're using dynamic links between Premiere and After Effects. And I did find some stuff on the web as well um, related to that. You see here, it says when using dynamic links, the sound effects does not work. Um, there is a workaround for this, but something to be aware of because I was spending some time troubleshooting this, not realizing why the sound didn't come over. And because um, what you're expecting is something like this. So I play this clip. You get the sound, you get the transition, you know, looks really, looks really nice. One more time, right? But this sound clip isn't actually carried over from After Effects. So which, what you want to do if you want that sound clip is in the After Effects here, is double click on the, and these are all your transitions over here, right? If you select any one of these, it'll go through the various transitions. So in this case, I dropped this clip here onto my timeline between this clip and this clip. So this is that transition. In order to get the, the WAV file or the, the sound clip, there's an extra step. So double click on this clip here. It's gonna take you into this other panel. And all the way down at the bottom, is this mp3 file that's the actual audio file you want to select that clip so you got all these other clips in here you want to select that clip Control c to grab it go back into your timeline over here and paste it Control v into your timeline and now you may have to you may have to adjust it in your timeline to where you need it but now you're going to get the uh you're going to get the sound clip. So for this one, I have to move it back a little bit. So adjust it as you need, but that's how you're going to get that sound clip from your After Effects suite into your Adobe software when you're using the dynamic link between the two. So just something to be aware of. I did a lot of troubleshooting. Um, to finally actually find this solution and hopefully it saves some other uh, folks some uh, some hours of troubleshooting if you run into something similar. Again, this is the Envito Market um, 1200 plus handy seamless transition pack. You'll see it here, there's lots of videos and information and even down here, you see the different, you can use it with Motion Pro, you can use it with extensions, and then here it's possible to use Premiere Pro with dynamic links, and then you can watch the tutorial. But the tutorial doesn't, like I said, mention anything about the audio file not carrying over. And on a final note, I wanted to mention that I was on the, the uh, uh, forum for the uh, transition pack as well, and noticed that the author for this um, right here had 
put some comments in here. Someone had asked a question about the audio files, and clearly the author saying as well, unfortunately, I do not have experience with Premiere Pro. I've tried to find a solution to the problem with sound for Adobe on the Adobe forms, but found nothing useful at the moment. I propose the following in After Effects, open the transli translation layer, control C for the sound effects layer, control V in Premiere Pro. Uh, again, just confirming uh, what I'm providing you here so there's no misinformation or misunderstanding. Um, and then there's another file here, it looks like, from the author. Oops. Uh, if you expand the audio waveform, roll out the sound wave is here. So again, them just, and this is from the author of the um, transition pack, providing comments to those folks here in the, um, in the forums. Uh, any uh, uh, addressing any questions that people may have. So this issue of the sound issue, the sound effects uh, not playing or coming up time and time again is, has been mentioned here. And the uh, author of this is also identifying that it is an issue. And it uh, looks like at one point had mentioned that he's hoping that Adobe fixes the issue. Uh, so again, just something to be aware of. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, my apology to anybody that was tuning in for drone stuff, but um, I think this will be helpful for some other folks using Adobe Premiere Pro editing software to do their video editing. And if they are on the fence or have already uh, bought this transition pack, uh, because it's not really mentioned anywhere else. So again, give it a thumbs up if this was helpful. And until next time, uh, I'll get some drone footage up in the next video. Thanks for watching.